hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon for getting new updates welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'll show you how to create a new user with root permission so let's start guys so first of all i'll show you the version of kali linux so simply i open the terminal and type the command so i can check the version of kali linux so you can see the latest version of kali linux is 2019.4 so now i'll show you how to add new user account with admin credential so simply i'll check the current user with the command of who am i so this is root so now this is the command where you can add a new username add user and type your username so now it is asking for new password so simply type the password any password you want simply type and then confirm the password now you have to enter the details here if you want otherwise simply hit enter so it will choose by default setting so simply hit enter enter and then type y so verify the information and that's it your username is done so if you want to change the password so with the help of password command you can change password as well as root password you can change it with this command so this is useful command if you change the password right now our password is set so we don't use this command but for reference you can use this command as well so now we have to add the username to sudo group so now we have to enter the user mode so we have to add the new user to sudo group so we can easily access the all commands so this is the command you can simply copy and paste from description i'll give the command in description so you can easily copy and paste and second command is you we have to give the shell directory so this is the shell directory so we will verify the shell directory to new user so this is the command for shell directory simply you have to copy and paste i'll give the this command also in description so now i verify the user so you can check our username is created successfully with the home directory as well as shell directory so you can verify from here so this is the way how you can create new user account so i also check from group so this is the group you can check the group so here guys you can check these created here so that means it is working perfectly our new user is add up in kali linux so this is the way how you can create user so now we will switch the user account so we can verify or you we can check the user is working or not so simply i switch the username so simply now you have to enter the new username so i'll type the username as well as new password so you can check now i'm login with new username so i open the terminal and i am type here who am i and you can see the username also showing here 
so first of all I type who am I and you can check the username that means we have successfully create new user account so we have to directory and if we check all the details is here you can check by yourself so this is the way how we can create new user account with the help of terminal with the help of command line so now we will verify the account it is working or not so simply I type the sudo command so it is asking for the password that means it is not asking for root password it is asking for our new account password that means our new account have fully credential this is root as well as the same working properly so now I can switch the help of command line so right now I am typing here who am I and I am switch the account with the help of so command so now my new user is root you can check who am I so right now I am login with user I switch the account with the help of terminal so simply you can check if we have hash sign that means we will login through root account we have login using root account if I'll switch the account so you can check now here is dollar sign that means we have login with standard user or which is created by us that means with the sign of dollar so this is the difference between them so this is the way how we can create new user account with full rights so now I'll show you how to remove or how to delete the account so simply login with root so I'm login with root account so simply enter the root username and enter the password and now you have to open the terminal and here guys simply you have to enter the command so first of all I am check the user so right now root user is login so here guys first of all I am showing the directory so all is set so now you have to simply check the all details so I am again check the password so here you can check the the home directory as well as shell directories here so now I am also check the group as well as so here guys you can check the group and now I am scrolling up and you can check here the sudo group so you can check these also part of sudo group so first of all we have to delete from the sudo group so this is the command del user then username and enter here your group name so our group is sudo so I type here sudo so simply hit enter and you can check removing user d from group sudo so now if I'll check from group so there is if I'll check from sudo so here guys you can check sudo so d is removing from sudo group so now 
we have to delete the user account as well as so simply I type the command del user and username and simply hit enter so I am getting the error the user is currently used by process so simply we have to type the command process you have we have to kill this process simply type the command kill hyphen 9 and your process ID simply enter the command if you getting this error multiple time so you have to repeat the process so I'll simply remove all the process so now finally I delete the user account and here guys you can check our username is removing and it is no more member of group so this is the way now I can check if I can check the password command password file so here guys you can check these not available in password file and if I'll check from group there is there is also the is not available and also the directory is removed so this is here you can check these also deleted from here and if you can check the directory is also deleted so this is the way how we can create or delete new user account in Kali Linux so thank you for watching this video thank you very much